Hey everyone, and welcome back to another game of Catan. I'm the Wanderer, and today we are playing another game, uh, another ranked game on our road to number one this season. Uh, oh, sorry, I've had a few technical difficulties to start this game. Anyway, sorry, Red has taken the first pick uh, on the 5, 9, 10, which is an interesting first pick, I think, for Red. It's a good spread of resources, but opting to go without wheat, uh, and there are four wheat squares, but nothing particularly good. Um, I'm surprised maybe they didn't opt to go, maybe this 8, 10, 11, either down to the sheep port or down to the 8, 4. I suppose maybe they're hoping that someone goes to 8, 10, 11, and that, that they're probably hoping that 8, 4 is around on their way back. Honestly, that'd be an elite spot for red. Uh, green's next. Uh, this 8, 5, 10 to the brick port's pretty strong. Uh, you could probably pair that with... Oh, you could pair that with anything good. There's enough wood on the board. I don't know if green's going to take that, though. I think they might go... Yeah, the 8, 4, 11. Glad they went there. Takes that spot away from red. Uh, <laughs> uh, blue says black, are you YouTube? <laughs> um, I don't really want to respond because I don't want them to kind of... Uh, you know, target me, but uh, I feel bad for not responding if people recognize me. So uh, I'm going to say, uh, I'll say, yes, that's me. Okay, so Blue has an interesting choice here. I think they have to take the 8, 5, 10 for pure production reasons, um, which is going to leave us with some interesting picks if they do take this. I, I really want to make, to monopolize some of the wheat. Problem is if they take the 8, 5, 10... Taking the 6-4-3 or the 6-4-2 is a gross spot because I'll have... If I go 6-4-3, yeah, there's no brick to pair the wood with. Ah, and there's no ore to pair the wheat with, right? So we could do something like 6-4-3 and then 8-10 down to the sheep... Uh, uh, down to the sheep put Blue says big fan and uh, subscriber. Uh, thanks. I'll say thanks, mate. Uh, really appreciate... The support. Uh, all right, let's get back to this. Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna lose our track. So, ah, oh, this is interesting. Six, nine, ten. What do we pair it with? There's just no good brick. This is a really gross board to be to be fourth pick. We're gonna have to really utilize um, a port here, and whether or not it's like something like. 6, 9, 10, 8, 10 to the sheep port. I hate that, but I just, I don't get it. I, I just, I don't really know what to do here. This is okay, guys. If you're all watching, this is a game that I really need, I think, some suggestions here. We'll see how the game pans out, obviously. But we could take 4, 9, 2 as a second pick and go to the 3 for 1 to get on the 5. I don't mind that. Um, but do we do something like 4, 9, 2... Obviously, we'll take that second. 6, 9, 10, 4, 9, 2. We have no ore, but then we have the wheat that we need. And we're off to the 3 for 1 port. I think that's maybe the play. We'll play without ore, just because ore is pretty scarce on this board. But we're going to have access to ports, right? So, 6, 9, 10 out here. And then we do take the 4, 9, 2. I could point up to the 6, 2. But I think I prefer going here, because I need that extra brick to pair with the wood. So I'm pretty confident no one builds on the 5-2. Uh, I think blue needs wheat uh, and wood, so they take 6-4-3. Uh, yep, there we go. And green has all wheat sheep with extra ore, so they're going to need some sort of brick or wood. So they could build on the 3-for-1 for, uh, the three for one on the 8-3, or they could just go way more into the, the sheep and ore and take something like uh, maybe the 6-5 with their sheep port down here. You never know. Or they might go the eight, the uh, four, three, eleven, and just monopolize all the, all the ore on the board. We'll see. Oh, yep. Green does opt to go, and take all the wheat and ore on the board. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Green's dangerous with the port, as they say, going all in. So going all in on the all wheat sheep. Red's left in a tricky spot here. They do need the uh, wheat and ore. So that actually, I don't mind them going 5-4, building down to the 6-3, or vice versa, 6-3, building up to the 5-4. Uh, it's actually not a bad play, in my opinion, uh, yet they've gone the 5-4 down to the 6-3 as we hit the 9. As long as we don't lose our brick in these first three rolls, then we're going to be okay. Oh, 
there's a seven as we speak it into existence. So red has, uh, sorry, green needs brick and wood. So he probably blocks the nine, maybe. Oh, actually, no, probably the four. Surely blocks the four. Blocks everyone. As long as we don't lose that brick, I don't care. Blocks the four. Oh, we lose the wheat. Whew, that's okay. Wheat, it's annoying losing that. I would have much preferred to obviously lose the wood there, but, jeez, that would have been rough if we lost the brick. There's the six. All right, let's roll. And we hit the nine. Sorry, plenty of wood here. Um, we could probably get a wheat, to be honest. Uh, wood for wheat... Happy to take that with that blocked. I know it gives um, green resources they don't have, but they don't currently have brick. So happy just to hold that and then hold on those cards. Uh, as we can, if we get another nine, we have the settlement. Or if we get lucky, there we go with the nine. The two rolls, we obviously have the settlement as well. So those dual nines have hit a couple of times already, which is great. Eight hits. Eights are good for blue. So they get the road out to the brick port. I'm not worried about racing that. I mean, it would be a good spot for us if we get on the five, but it's not essential. Ooh, good robber here. So who are we most worried about in this situation? So I think blue's quite strong, uh, even without the ore. Green has pure ore wheat sheep, but it's going to start slow. I'm not that worried about red yet. So I think probably blocking the five. And I think we steal from blue. I think blue's setup is stronger than red at the moment. And we get some more wheat, which is nice. So we're gonna we're gonna four for one here. I think for the brick, just to get this settlement down. It's a good settle for us, considering our situation. Uh, so next settlement spots, I'd love better wheat. So getting on this six two would be quite big, uh, or even getting up if we could to the wheat port, because I don't really care about settling on the two. Uh, obviously, we're on the 3 for one but doubling up on the 9 is pretty big. And then even getting into the 6 three, 12 is pretty nice. So we have good expansion. Only issue is we have no ore. So we really do need to be utilizing the ports this game. Green pops a dev. And there's the 11, which is huge for green. And we hit the 5. Nice. Uh, nothing we can really do here. So I'm just going to pass. We hit the 2. Wow, okay, that's nice. We hit a 9 here. We're... Looking pretty good. Uh, I don't really want to. Oops, I don't really want to give this to Red on their turn. To be completely honest, as I struggle to fix that, but uh, it doesn't matter because Blue does it with them anyway. And they drop the road. Must be for the road settle, I think. Yep, gets the road settle on the wood port, and then Green rolls a seven. So I think either the five or the nine get blocked here. Uh, well, Red had no cards. We lose a brick there. That's okay. Not too worried about that. Unfortunately, green really needed that, so that'll give them a road, because we did trade them the wood before. I think they're also one ore off a city, so that's probably why they're looking for the city, and if not, they're happy just to drop the road. Yep, down to the three for one port, and they pop a dev as well. Blue rolls a seven. Maybe he blocks the nine. The problem is if that happens, we get stolen from again. Yep, we lose the wheat, which is a little bit annoying. Would have rather to lose the brick or the sheep there. Uh... It's just annoying because I, I don't know if Blue had the choice they might have actually stolen uh, they might have stolen from 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 Red there just Red has no cards and we roll the 7 okay so who just stole from us it was uh, Blue I still think Red's the steal here but I can't steal from them so I'm going to block them and I think I think I'm going to block this this 5 again we steal the wheat back anyway that's okay I would have liked to maybe block Green but as we hit the five, good block. And we hit the five again. All right, all we need is a nine here, and we'll, we can do some damage. The fact that if I could steal that spot from blue would be big. Oh, man, if blue can't settle here, we're laughing. Come on, no seven. Perfect. Uh, okay, so the brick port's actually kind of big for us, uh, given that we are on this five, and we've been having a lot, quite a lot of brick here. So I think this is a good spot to take away from blue as well as taking for our own. That was a big spot. I was going to say I got lucky in the last cycle of rolls. Um, it just means that we're going to get targeted like crazy. And he said, cold-hearted killer. Uh, a bit of table talk there from Green, just putting the uh, putting the target on us. Which is a, a good way to do it, because Green's just going to fly under the radar with these devs. As we hit the five again, so that brick port's handy. As Green pops another dev. Three hits. 
and blue chops are rode out to the wheat port. And we roll a seven. I think I'm going to have to force green here to to play. Problem is I can't solo block. Uh, so I can't block green anywhere other than the solo block, right? So I think we've got to take away some wheat here. Block the four. Get some wheat. Um, and force him to play one of his dev cards. So in that case there, I'm tempted to hold... Because I'd like to hold for a city here. We can trade this brick away uh, for some ore. And if we hit a four, then that's probably our best play. So I think I'm going to hold here. Even though I think we're going to get jacked by green on the next turn. Uh, as red rolls a seven, so we may get blocked here. Oh, interesting solo block there. Uh, and the fact that we lose the wheat there is really annoying. Um, I'm not... I'm not <laughs> I'm not annoyed at the solo block. I just think the six was an odd choice considering we do have sheep elsewhere. Oh well, can't complain. Green then rolls a seven, so we're going to get stolen from again, probably on the five or the nine. Oh, ops for the four. I actually think it's a decent block, to be honest. And we lose a brick, fair enough. And then he rolls a four, which is a good block. And then we hit the nine. Okay, so... We could drop two roads out to this 6-2. Uh, the only problem is I want to be able to take road in this game, right? Do we think building down to the 9-11 ore is better? Because then it gives us the chance that the road connect uh, and actually gets us on some ore as well. What do we think? It's just because we can always keep... If we do go this way and we, let's say, red goes down here and settles and we lose that, we can still keep extending the road along a lot further. Um, so I am tempted to drop two roads down here, I think. Oops, didn't mean to request a trade there. It's all right, we'll just pass there. That's okay. And we hit the nine again. Nine's been popping off. Red drops a row down to the six three. And that four hits again for blue. Uh, it's green, sorry, with our, with our four blocked. That's a very tempting trade. No, he ends up four for one. And holding. Interesting. Blue rolls a seven. So we probably get stolen from again. Yep, and that'll be on the five. We lose a wood. Jeez, we're just getting jacked left, right, and center. This is one of those games where an early lead is just killing us. Like we, I mean, we are in a good position, but it's genuinely killing us right now. There we go. We hit the nine again. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We just need a six here, and we can settle on the nine eleven. Red should be able to get the settlement down here on this six three. I think they're just looking for the wheat, but they might be able to four for one. If not. Yep, they end up two for one for the sheep, so they should be able to settle. Yep, that's okay. I'm um, happy to get this 9-11. We can then always go up around to this 6-2 as green rolls another 7. So, probably goes on the 9, maybe the 6, and we'll lose, hopefully, a wood. Oh, we lose the wheat. I'm just going to say... Jeez... Oh, oh, that's really tempting, but he's going to foil 4 for 1 here. Oh, do I want to do that? I, I can't say no to that, to be honest. It's kind of wild. Unless he dirty monos me. i just be a weird time to use the dirty mono. Plays the knight. Pops it on the five. Pops it on the six. Steals from red. Finally, we don't get stolen from. All right, let's hit the roll. Uh, ooh, okay. Now, no one has any sheep, do they? So I think red's the steal here for sure. I think we'll block the five. Yeah, I think we're still from red. Uh, there's nothing we can really do here. Uh, there's no sheep on the board. Uh, what do we do? Can we give up a wood maybe for a sheep? I just don't think it's there. Uh, or a wheat for a sheep. I, again, I don't think anyone's going to take that. Wheat for sheep. No. Okay, we're going to have to pass here. That's all right. I would drop a road, but it's not worth it, to be honest, unless another seven rolls. There's the five, that's nice. And the eight hits. Jeez, we just need a six, and green finally gets to settle down. There's the ten, huge, okay. As blue settles on the wheat port, and drops a road out to the left. So they've got a good three for one port, plus a good road game. And the eight hits. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to settle on this 9-11, I think. And then let's, Oh, do I not? I'm going to hold. I don't want to drop the road here because I don't want to take road. It just looks, makes us look insanely more scary. Um, 
I'm going to hold. I kind of want to save the brick if possible just to save up for some ore and hopefully an 11 hits. There's the 10. We can 3 for 1 that for ore. 5, perfect. That's 2 ore now in hand. 12, nothing really happens there. All we need now is an 11 or a 2 and we've got a city. Blue pops a dev. Ah, of course, there's the 7. Uh, what do we do here? I think we drop that and the sheep. And I think we've got to be stealing from red again. But, oh, is green? Green's looking a little scary, to be honest. I kind of like this this block on the four. Nah, red's ore is too dangerous. It's The red's ore is too dangerous, because I hit that and get a city as we get the city. That's nice. Um, yeah, red's ore is too dangerous, I think. For the for the meantime, anyway. Blue, uh, green could come flying home with their dev card game. Sorry, I'm trying to pass. There we go. There's the nine. Huge. Okay, we have a city in hand right now if we don't seven out. Eight hits. Eight hits again. All right, no seven. Perfect. All right, we'll two for one that, and we'll three for one that for two all. Huge. Um, oh, do I city the six, nine, ten? Or am I sitting the 5-2 for the brick? I just think that 5 is too blockable. So I think we've got to city the 6-9-10 because we are on that 3 for 1 port and it really is just going to amp up production. Or is it the 2 nine, the 4-9, sorry, the 4-9-2? Nah, it's this 9 as well because then we're getting, f yeah, yeah, this, this one. We're on the 6. So we can take road for 8 and then we can settle again for 9 and then we may have to pop. Ooh, gets the wheat for wood off with uh, red there, which is interesting. Uh, sorry, with um with blue there, which is interesting. So that gave red the city. One for one there for a city is pretty nuts. I'll see what blue got. Like, if was that worth it for them or not? We hit the five. That's nice. So blue survives that. So they should be able to get a uh, road settle maybe up to... The oh, no. They're going to the six two. Interesting. I suppose that wheat port. Oh, huge from blue. Okay, that makes more sense as to why they gave that city up. Ooh, seven out here for red, which is nice. So red and blue to me right now are the threats. So I think... Do I think this five sheep is probably the play? And I'm going to steal from red. Well, I had no choice there. Um, there's nothing we can really do here. I'm... Am I... I, I even if I... I no, I'm going to hold. I am a little nervous that someone has a mono. But I can't pop a dev. Uh, building a road is kind of useless for me. As we hit the six, there's the seven out. That's fine. I'll just discard the sheep. And we'll probably just lose another sheep anyway when green steals from us. Probably on the six. No, it goes for the nine. Yep, that's okay. They end up three for wanting the sheep for an ore and pop another dev. There's the ten. So we basically get a lot of that sheep back. So currently red's got a few ore. They two for one for an ore, pop another dev. There's the seven. Okay, so... Red's got a lot of ore right now, and I think I've definitely got to be stealing from them. I think that this this 10 is just really dangerous as we get some ore. I kind of want to pop here. We do need to maybe get a VP at some point, and honestly, any, any other dev card right now is useful. That's probably the most useful card of them all. Oh, that's so big. As red rolls a 7, so we'll get blocked here. Uh, probably on the 10 of sheep or the 9 of wood out here, I'd say. Yep, that's fair enough. We lose a sheep. Cool, it gets the two for one off there with green. Uh, just for the wheat. Was that just for a dev? Wow, interesting. We'll hit the five. Uh, brick mono would be good if there was a bunch of brick out there. Oh, there's an eight. All right, let's see what we roll first. And a ten, okay. Oh, there's not much we could do. So there's at least, what, one, two... There's probably five, five or six brick out there. Probably six brick. Probably not worth the mono. It's the same with the sheep. Uh, we can't really do anything. I'm probably going to hold here. There's just, there's got to be a mono. I reckon someone's got a mono floating around. This is the risk. Oh, red seven's out. Okay, that's nice. So, they can't, they'll probably block the 10 here. There's no other square they can really block us on. More, the 10 or the 11. Yeah, we'll lose a card here. That's fine. I'm not sure I've ever been robbed this much in a game. It's pretty wild. There's another seven. So that goes probably back on the six or the nine. There it is. Oh, blocks the ten. I'm glad Green's actually noticed that Red's ore is kind of dangerous as the eight hits. All right, let's see what we can hit. Or oh, two. Okay. 
So, I think it's potential for a brick mono here. So, there's a bit out there. One, two. Uh, no, nah, I just don't know if it's worth it right now. I could dev. I could dev. Or do I? No, nah, I've got to be able to. I have to be doing something here. I could drop a road, but I don't want to take road. Oh, actually, okay. I'm going to drop a road. We do need another settlement spot. So, I think for us, the road out to the three for one here is a good, a good settlement spot. Uh, and then we'll hold. There's the 11. Finally, we get one bar for settling on there. That's big. 12 hits. They three for one for some wheat. And pop another dev. There's a five. That's nice. This brick has been good. All right. I'm hoping like another five or an eight or a uh, nine. Okay, I can't complain about that. I, I'm, I'm tempted here to do a, a brick mono. So we can take road for eight. I'm going to brick mono. I think I have to. How much are we going to get? We get six. That's nice. So let's settle first. Can we road? Can I road again? Because I can't settle again. I can road again to keep hold of road, and then I can pull for the win. I think this is potentially the play. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we get. Come on, colonist. Oh, we get a knight. Dang. All right, I'm tempted to extend the road here. Um, I'm going to go this way. I'll just do another one here because I can't. Yeah, that's fine. Happy to do that. Probably could have held, maybe, for the city there. But I think we're going to get Jack. So I don't... Yeah, perfect example right there. We'll get blocked, but we have the Knight. Uh, and we don't lose any cards. On the 9. So red right there. Doesn't realise that I was on 0. Another 7. I think emptying out our hand there was a pretty decent decent move. Blue gets stolen from. Blue could... If they work together, they can easily give Blue Road and make it impossible for me to keep it. Unless I got all the way out down here. 8 hits. Blue plays a knight, pops it on the nine. Again, we don't lose any cards. So I think for us, the steel has got to be probably... Who's more dangerous here? It's got to be red. I think this 10 is just pretty dangerous. We get some sheep. We hit the three, nothing happens there. We'll probably get... He'll probably take that right back if he has a knight. Yep, red's noticed about taking road, which is unfortunate. Red pops another dev, so I don't think they had a knight. The good thing is there's not much wood on the board. Like, we basically control all the wood aside from these threes. Green plays a knight. Pops it probably back on the 10. We'll lose our sheep. It's okay. There's a five. That's nice. And green pops another dev. And then they three for one for a wood. Yep, they're starting to work together now. There's a seven, so we're going to lose our brick. Oh, man, I can't wait to see how many times we rob this game at the end of this. I just, uh, far, the, considering how far we are ahead, and we've been robbed, I think, at least 10 times up to this point. We'll see at the end. I just, we're going to lose road. I think once blue gets this connect and can wrap around, that's like we're done with road, which is going to be a problem. So they give, give uh, blue more road. So he's wrapping around here. Jeez, we're going to have to get lucky on the next couple of cycles. Six. All right, that's good for us. We've just got to pass, though. There's the nine. That other nine blocked is annoying. Red two for ones for a wheat. It's going to probably sit here, I think. Ooh, red drops a road building here, going down towards the, the sheep port. Should be able to settle as well. That's a big move for red. Now on the eight, the six, and the five with the sheep port. That's pretty huge. Then they two for one for a wood. Green rolls a seven, so we're going to get stolen from again. Oh, man. Like, I get it. I'm on nine points. I should be getting stolen from. It's just it's frustrating. <laughs> it's been from the very start. There's a five. So we can extend road, but it's like, it's inevitable at this point, I think. All right, let's see what we get. Three. All right, I think we're going to have to extend road, to be honest, because blue's going to take it otherwise. So we'll drop one here, and then we'll pass. We've kind of cornered ourselves by taking road that early. 
we've kind of we've kind of cornered ourselves into a bad situation here. We may have to get lucky if we get a wheat here and pull for it. Red buys another dev. So I'm pretty sure red definitely has a VP. So red's probably on seven. Uh, there's a four. We can pull forward if blue can't take rope next turn. There's green cities. So green's at six with army. Maybe at least one VP, probably two. There's a year of plenty. Can they city again? No, nah, another dev. Another two devs. Whew. Oh, that 10 block hurts a little bit. If blue can't take it here, I think we have to pull for it. It gets the trade-off. Damn, that's really frustrating. We'd have to hit a five here, but I think they'll be able to build two roads, so it won't matter. They two for one for a wood. Drop one road, and yeah, that's our road game done, unfortunately. All right, let's roll. Let's just say, I hope everyone stops uh, robbing me now. I will battle to win from here. Um, do we pop? I'm just trying to think what our play is because we can't settle. We could hold for a city, which would give us eight, but I think we've got to, we're going to have to be deving either way. A knight is the last thing I want there. Red rolls a seven. I, I'm hoping red here robs from someone else. Yeah, steals from green. 100% it's the better play. I, I, I Once now that that road's done, I can't win. Oh, it's not that, sorry, not that I can't win. It'll just be really hard for me to win. Ah, uh, green's going to win. Wow, green had four VPs. That's... That's just GG. I'm just going to say, haha, well played. There's nothing we could do about that, guys. I mean, we were so close. We were literally one point off for so long. Uh, we ended up third, unfortunately. Uh, we look at the dice stats. Sixes were garbage. Rolled six times. Seven rolled 24 times. I'll say, I'll say those robbers killed me. Uh, res card stats. We'll look at the, the dev card stats. Activity stats. And then look, look I can't wait to see this. Yep. We got robbed 14 times. 14 times out of the 26 robs. I mean, nothing we can do about that. We had the best production, but we our actual total resource score... Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a rough game. It's not much we could do about it. So close. Oh, well, it is what it is. That's Catan sometimes. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I uh, appreciate it. I uh, hope you're all enjoying the content. And, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.